for this episode of Recipe Share, a program on AADL TV, where we take a few minutes to talk about recipes in a featured category. Coming soon, we'll be filming an episode where we'll be responding to our listeners' cooking-related questions. So if you have a question for us, please email us at recipeshare at aadl.org. Today's category is Amazing Corn. I'm Katie, and as usual, I am joined today by Elizabeth and Beth to tell us about their recipes. So Elizabeth, tell us what you chose today. Okay, I will. So my recipe comes from a site I've never used before. Uh, it's called blackberrybabe.com. And um, <clears throat> excuse me, this recipe is for corn cakes. Um, I really wanted to make corn cakes and I would just peruse some different recipes and I liked the looks of this one. Um, so uh, basically what you do, you need a couple eggs, teaspoon of baking powder, teaspoon of sugar, teaspoon of salt, a little bit of pepper, half cup of all purpose flour, half cup of shredded cheddar cheese, um, a can of corn drained, um, a quarter um, cup or a couple slices of cooked and crumbled bacon, a seeded and diced jalapeno and some olive oil super easy you mix together the dry ingredients and then um you oh sorry no you mix together the egg salt pepper sugar and baking powder and then you slowly add in the flour until it's all incorporated then you add in the corn cheese bacon jalapeno just kind of like gently mixing it all in so it doesn't get like you want the, kind of the chunks of the corn still and all that and then you heat the oil in a pan and scoop it in into little, you know, pan press them into pancakes. And um, basically you cook for a couple minutes until the first side is brown and then flip and cook on the other side. And you put them on a paper towel lined plate to drain. Um, and then you they gave a lot of different serving options. There was one for like making like a sour cream, like spicy sour cream drizzle. Um, uh, it said you could garnish with ranch, uh, it said you could garnish with chives. <laughs> um, so I just did a little bit of sour cream on top of each, um, and they were quite tasty. I was very pleased. Um, I love things that are easy and don't call for anything weird. You know, I don't know. Sometimes you just want something simple, you know, um, and they were really good. They said the jalapeno was optional, but I definitely added it in and liked the kick from that. So, um, and I didn't have any trouble getting them to stay together. I, so I know sometimes that's a thing for, you know, when you're making cakes of any kind, but they were good. So um, yeah, it was a little tasty uh, dinner. And I think next time I would try to come up with like something to serve them with, you know, cause it was kind of, it wasn't quite enough for like a full meal. Um, so I think I would try to come up with like what to have them with. They'd be good in the summer with like grilling something. Um, yeah, but those were my corn cakes. Sounds really good. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I was going to ask if it was a side dish, so you, and it could be like, I feel like some kind of barbecue. Yeah, meat definitely. Definitely. But, um, but not, it doesn't have to be meat. You could have a salad. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, it was yeah. yummy. Sounding very tasty. Super simple. It definitely sounds delicious. That sounds so good. I love the addition of the jalapeno and the bacon in the mm -hmm. corn cakes. I don't think I've heard of that before. And I've never made corn cakes before. So that sounds like a wonderful recipe to start with. And yeah, I would serve it with like an arugula salad or something like that. Sounds so good. Definitely. And I was thinking actually like a salad with like like an avocado lime like dressing would be super mm -hmm. good and kind of yeah so that's what I'll do next time um, yeah, I mean it sounds like a good lunch too yeah it totally totally yeah okay yeah. Beth, what's your corn recipe well okay I had this recipe for can candied corn salad that um floated out of a notebook that I uh, where I stuffed uh where I used to 
cut out recipes. Anyway, it came from Parade Magazine, um, 2017, from Alex Gernischelli. I She's a Food Network person. Um, her quote was, I wanted a corn salad that tasted like salted caramel. Just toss and serve and watch it disappear. And I was like, corn salad that tastes like... So anyway, I tried it. So here's, here's it's super simple. She said to shuck 10 to 12 fresh corn or in a pinch, you can use three and a half to four cups of frozen corn, which I did. And it was, it was probably, yeah, it was closer to three and a half. So heat a large skillet over medium heat, add four tablespoons of salted, unsalted butter, add the corn kernels, which I did, you know, frozen, a couple tablespoons of dark brown sugar, uh, two teaspoons of salt, two teaspoons of freshly ground black pepper, quarter cup of water, reduce to low, cook 10 to 12 minutes till it evaporates, um, transfer to a serving bowl, cook cool five minutes, and then you add a cup of tightly packed arugula, um, a quarter cup of tightly packed basil leaves. This called for a juice of two lemons. And it just, since I didn't have that much corn, I only used a half. Because I didn't also, I didn't want to detract from that caramel candied corn flavor. So half a lemon. And then it says to dribble with dribble with um, balsamic vinegar, which I, I also passed on. Uh, it was really good. I have a picture. Uh, I mean, it was like I I almost ate the entire thing, but I I, I did save some for my husband. Um, I mean, it's got, you know, I love lemon. I love arugula. I love salted sweet stuff. So yeah, it was, it was a good one. Um, I don't, I was curious how it might work with canned corn. You know, I don't see why it would be a, an issue, but that's what it said. So anyway, that's my recipe. I feel like I had no idea where that was going at first. I was like, Damn. okay, so you're making the corn. And then when you mentioned the arugula and the basil, I was like, oh, wow, that sounds awesome i'm shocked you didn't put in any kind of cheese i so know that's amazing <laughs> um but it sounds sounds super yummy and i i don't think i've really had anything quite quite like it before no it tastes like caramel corn it's like it's just like a sweet salty corn it didn't really it it kind of did you know but it would have made me think of for my next uh attempt uh, for a salad is Maybe I'd like a salad that tastes like Sour Patch Kids. Oh, no. Yeah. Maybe a fruit salad. I don't know. Um, but I just never, it never occurred to me to to think of, you know, I want a corn salad tastes like salted caramel. So Yeah, it's and, super unique for sure. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, Katie, let's hear what you made. Okay. The recipe that I'm sharing is from the website, The View from Great Island. Uh, it is for blistered corn and asparagus salad with salmon. Um, it's a pretty simple recipe. Um, you, the first thing you do is you cook your salmon. You just bake it for 20 minutes with some oil and salt on it until it's flaky. Um, and But while your fish is baking, you blister your veggies. So you trim your asparagus and then you've got a couple ears of corn and it gives a, it gives several ways to go about this depending on your situation is what it says. So the first way you can bl blister your veggies would be to grill them. Um, it's not grilling season, so I did not do that, but then there's a couple other options. So you can use a stovetop grill pan. If you have a gas range, you can hold the veggies over it with some tongs, just be careful. Um, and then it says you can also use your broiler to do this. So I did this twice. The first time I did it, I did it with the stovetop grill pan and that did an awesome job of blistering the veggies, but it did set off my smoke alarms in my house. So that was a little annoying. Um, and then the next time I tried it using my broiler in my oven and that did not work. So it did not get the um, veggies ever like blistered and it just kind of like took a long time and then the veggies were kind of soggy. So 
I would definitely uh, recommend the stovetop grill pan with some windows open, but I also um, would totally do this on the grill, like if it was that right time of year. Um, so once your veggies are blistered, then you um, just run run a knife down the sides of the corn to get the kernels off and you chop up your arugula into smaller pieces, or not arugula, into <laughs> your asparagus into smaller pieces. And then it says to toss it with arugula. I used um, a bunch of mixed greens that had arugula in it because I just wanted like a bunch of different other flavors of lettuce in there. Um, and then you season it with your with a little bit of salt and you put dressing on it, which is just olive oil, lemon juice, Dijon mustard, honey, salt, and some fresh snipped chives. Um, and you just like pour that over your greens and then flake your salmon on top of the salad. Put a little bit more dressing on top of the salmon and then some fresh ground cracked pepper a little bit more uh, sprinkled snipped chives over top, and that's your salad. It was quite delicious, tasted very fresh, and I really loved that it gave the option to do all this inside when it seems like a very sort of like summery dish. I just really liked being able to do that and have it during the cold winter time, so that it was a nice recipe. Yeah, it sounds super healthy as well, which I know is not like the end all be all, but sometimes it's nice to just have like a really healthy dinner that just like is feels like nutrient rich and delicious. So. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 I love that. Um, you know, adding the salmon to like, really, you could do that with any any salad, but um, mm -hmm. sounds very good. Um, I would I would try it. Yeah, I would recommend it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, I want to thank everybody for watching Recipe Share and be sure to click the link below to look at the event page on aadl.org to find the recipes that we talked about today and share your own in the comments. Join us next time when our category will be Adventures in Bread Baking. We're looking forward to seeing what you've been making. So thanks for sharing. Recipe share, recipe share, share a little 